Cowboy Bebop, episode three. I have to admit this opening sequence is really sexy. Okay, so in the last episode we acquired the dog. It's the adventures of Spike and Jet, plus a mysterious woman and a mysterious child. I imagine we'll discover their identities relatively soon. So a girl walks in. It's the girl from the opening sequence. She shoots up these guys who are obviously looking for her. Episode three, Honky Tonk Women. So the woman is taken prisoner. So no smoking allowed. Spike swallows a cigarette. Gross. <clears throat> so they have to be careful because Spike's eyes are really sharp and if he wins too much, then they'll kick him out. P.S. They're at a casino. A space casino. So girl from the opening is a dealer, I guess? And Spike sits down to play a game of blackjack. I get the feeling Spike's probably counting cars or something. So all she has to do is turn Spike over to this like bigwig who works at the casino and then all of her debts disappear. We don't know much about her, but we know that she's got some debts, I guess. So Spike doesn't really follow her plan. I guess there's another guy she's actually supposed to be looking for, but she has been led to believe that it's Spike. It's a guy who looks remarkably like Spike, but not enough like Spike for us to be like, what? How could you mistake them? So according to the plan, he was supposed to give her the last chip. So Spike eats the chip. A couple of bouncers come up and they're like, Spike, come to the office with us. And Spike's like, no, I'm gonna beat you up. So Spike is beating up a bunch of arbitrary people and Jet's like, oh. and woman gets in a space ship and starts shooting missiles. <laughs> Turns out Spike is on her spaceship. <sighs> so Spike has somehow come across this really valuable chip and this really valuable dog without even realizing it. So they lock up the woman and they've got the chip. They don't really get it, but they're like, whatever. So then Jet analyzes it and he's like, oh, there's a microchip inside this chip. So then they watch the TV show that tells them about bounties and they figure out that that woman that they've just captured is actually on the bounty show for like six million. And they want to take her to the police station, but she's like, don't take me there. So Spike and Jet are all excited because they're gonna like deposit this woman and get six million back. And then all of a sudden this guy comes out of nowhere and he's like, give me the poker chip. It's that sh chip that Spike accidentally came across. So this guy is willing to pay Jet and Spike 300 million for the chip. And they're trying to negotiate for more, I guess. So confused, so confused. The girl is like in a space suit now. We still don't know her name. Do we know her name? I don't think we do. She gets in, the puppy's watching her. So Spike's out there in his space suit and the woman attacks him in her space suit and hits his anti-gravity boots and he goes flying off into space. Luckily he catches the chip and the woman tries to escape but she evades them in her spaceship. And the guy in the other ship is like, kill them all! And she's like, hyperdrive! And she escapes. She reversed Polari on one of the missiles that's coming back around. Kaboom! And you're dead. Jet lands safely on his spaceship. And the woman is gone. And Spike still has the chip. Easy come, easy go. And the episode's over. Alright, so I expected her to team up with Spike and Jet. Because she is so heavily featured in the opening sequence. I assume she'll come back and we'll eventually team up with them. It just makes sense. That's all I can say about that so far. And then we'll acquire the little boy too. That sounds so creepy. He, the little boy will join the team too. <laughs> Does that sound less creepy? I think it sounds equally creepy. See you next time. Bye bye.